So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install WordPress locally on your computer so that you can build sites without having them live. You don't have to buy a domain. You don't have to go out there and pay for some type of web hosting service. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now in this video. Uh, it's super simple, guys, uh, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So first thing we need to do is just go to Google and type in Bitnami WordPress, okay? Bitnami WordPress hit enter and we're gonna click on the first one here. This is very common, this is what most people use to install WordPress locally. I'll leave a link for it down in the description below uh, in this video. It's totally free. It's something that you can do within a couple of minutes uh, and you'll be ready to start working on your WordPress website. So once we get to this site, we're just gonna click on Windows, Mac or Linux uh, to start to install it. It's gonna pop up. And then we're gonna have the option to install whichever. Obviously, if you're using Apple, you're gonna use Apple or Linux or Windows. For me, I use Windows, uh, so I'm gonna click download right here. And then it's gonna to try to get us to sign in, but we don't have to do that. Uh, so we're just gonna go down here and click, no thanks, just take me to the download. Um, you can sign in if you really want to create an account. It's just I'm trying to get more people onto their site. Now, it's gonna to start to download it. It should be relatively quick. It's not a massive file. Um, so let's just give it a second here. All right, so now that we have downloaded the file, we just need to click on it to finish installing. So it's gonna load and then it's gonna kind of go through a couple of different things. We want this app to make changes to our, our device. Uh, yes, and then we're gonna to have to click next on a few things coming up here in just a second. So it's loading and English. Now there's a couple of steps that are important that you wanna make sure that you're doing correctly. Uh, we want to continue installing this so we can change the folder if we'd like to, but we're just gonna keep it as this for now. Click next. And then this is gonna be kind of an important step here. You wanna make sure you remember this. Uh, so put in your real name. So my name is Nate O'Brien. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, by the way. Uh, and so I'm gonna put in my real name and then your email address. This is actually gonna be how you're gonna log into your WordPress account. This is essentially what you're doing here. You're creating a user admin here. So uh, let me just put in an email. And then make sure that your password is something that's pretty lengthy, uh, pretty difficult for other people to hack or guess. Uh, and then make sure you write it down or, or put it somewhere so that you're able to remember it. So let me just create a password very quickly. And we can name it if we would like to as well. So let's just call this, uh, let's just call this Central Blog. Now we're gonna click next and we wanna configure mail support. We're not gonna do that now. Uh, that's something we can do for a separate video. Uh, and then we're going to launch WordPress in the cloud with Bitnami, so click next once again. And here we go. So we're almost done here. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to open up WordPress. So now we are ready to install uh, Bitnami WordPress onto our computer. So once again, click next, and then we're almost done here. Here we go, it's preparing to install. It should be, once again, pretty quick. It's not a massive file. Uh, my internet's a little bit slow, so we're just gonna skip ahead once this fully unpacks the files. And So now all we have to do, it's very simple, just click finish, uh, and then we just go to our browser, and it's actually gonna open it up for us. So we click access WordPress, and once it loads, this is our site, and this is offline, this is local, uh, and so uh, this is it right here. Now, if you wanna go open up a new tab here, and we can just type in uh, localhost slash WordPress, and this is how we can access it. And if you wanna log in, just add login. And now we can log into the account that we just created previously. So let me do that very quickly. So now we click log in, and this is where we can begin starting to edit our site. We can work on it uh, before we decide to find a web hosting service and start to put it out there uh, on the internet. We can just do all of this right now 
in-house without having other people seeing what this site might look like and what we're trying to build here. So we can work on everything. We can add more plugins. We can start to build pages. Uh, and so that's it, guys. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, many more videos on these topics coming out in the next coming months. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you want to learn more about web development and building sites and building companies. So uh, thanks for watching the video and I'll see everybody in the next video.